yourself stuck in the middle of the sea I'll sail the world to find you If you ever find yourself lost in the dark and you can't see I'll be the light to guide you Find out what we're made of When we are called to help our friends in need You can count on me Like one, two, three I'll be there And I know when I need it I can count on you Like four, three, two And you'll be there Cause that's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah Ooh, 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 yeah, yeah If you're tossing and you're turning and you just can't fall asleep I'll sing a song beside you And if you ever forget how much you really mean to me Every day I will remind you, oh, find out what we're made of, when we are called to help our friends in need, you can't count on me, like one, two, three, I'll be there, and I know are supposed to do all oh yeah My favorite memory would be making new friends and also being on the cheer team because we did a lot of competitions and we won a lot of them. The football games or being in cheer and the cheer comps, those were fun. Doing tech. When I uh, first walked into the school and I couldn't find my way around it. Probably, I think, playing football. Uh, playing football, too. Going to the football games. Becoming a group with all of us in volleyball. Probably doing um, the musical Beauty and the Beast. Becoming friends with these lovely people. The powerlifting seasons, they, like, really, like, showed me what I want. Probably, like, the football games and, like, just, like, dressing up and, like, the spirit at the football games. Being included in like all the sports and having those like memories of them. One of the dances that I went to, I didn't really go to many dances, but that dance was pretty fun. Homecoming. Um, probably softball, like last year. Just the football games. The football games in 11th grade. Our student section wasn't that good that year, but after football games, we would always go out to eat and it was a lot of fun. The football games, just being in that environment was one of the best feelings. The freshman year homecoming because that was the first big high school event and we went with like a really big group of friends and then I would have to say any football game this season because I got to lead the student section and I got to pick out the themes. Um, my favorite memory has to be doing the dance for leadership at like for homecoming. We all bonded and like we made mistakes and we learned from them and we got closer to each other. Being in drama club this year and doing the Beauty and the Beast show, I had so much fun dancing and singing with everyone. The homecoming game, something about like just screaming with the crowd and like really getting into it. 
it's just a whole lot of fun. The football games. Mm. Um, I love them. Like, they're just so, like, rah-rah, and I love, like, how much people get involved. Like, the student section is crazy, so I love it. I miss it. I'd also say the football games and also the assemblies, oh, but yeah. I guess I like the football games way more because, like, like, it's just the vibes are there. Like, <laughs> wow, everybody is really here for real. <laughs> Definitely football season. I'd say football, too. Like, I brought a McDouble one time to practice, and I went to the porter potty, and I ate it, and I missed out on running, and it was funny. Mine's probably football season as well. Like, back uh, in the freshman, like, locker room and stuff, like, all the memories with everybody. Volleyball season this year, we were playing Northern, and I hit this girl in the face with the ball three times in a row, and I thought it was pretty funny. The volleyball season in general, the, the whole thing as a whole. I just liked playing and having my teammates around me too. Being in band and going to band camp and participating in the marching band season, that was definitely the highlight of my four years. Uh, guitar class. Spending all these years with Mr. Rainey has really been like a delightful thing for me. Um, being in marching band was my favorite, and so was doing the Beauty and the Beast production. I really liked that too. Probably one that just passed, the musical. It was my first time being in a production, even though I've been taking like performing arts classes all four years of high school. And it was just, it was a great experience. It was so fun. There's not like one moment that sticks out. There's a lot of moments in high school that I just like are in my memory forever now. Freshman homecoming. Would be the same, yeah, I guess freshman homecoming was was the best dance we've had so far. Everybody got that one good dance. Yeah. Okay, okay. Putting our handprints on the wall as seniors. Going to football games, mostly with my friends, hanging out. My first hour is Mr. Wilson's and it's Ceramic Methods. And me and my friends are just talking and hanging out. It's just a lot of fun in there. And Mr. Wilson is a cool guy to mess around with. He calls us harpies. <laughs> Um, probably school dances, you know, going out with friends, just hanging out in general, growing up with the same kids I went to elementary school with, watching them grow up. Uh, I'd probably just say going to all the football games. Um, going to the football games and um, baseball season. I'd like to say just walking through the halls with my buddies. I, I feel like that's just the best time ever. I love it. Uh, I went through a period of selling snacks at school and it was definitely one of my favorite times in high school i was making like 300 bucks a week and it was just like i was socializing so much and like everybody just knew me as like you need some snacks go to josh um i would say going on the senior trolley uh that was really fun just hanging out with friends and just going out and being out in the community probably the sports like going down i remember freshman year going down to like where was it sea homes for when they were playing for football and then Freshman year football and then football this year. The game where you guys played at, uh, what's it called? Oh, Michigan. Michigan. The one where we got, we got smacked. Rolled. I don't care. That was still fun. That was still really fun. That, yeah. was, really, that was a memorable moment. Besides us getting smacked, yeah. For se senior year football games. Oh, my God. How basic. <laughs> just like, I don't know, just like the crowd and everything and just every, like the whole vibe to it was, it was really, really great. When um, I made lemonade and gave it to random kids, and then the next day we live streamed Sammy. Uh, there was not much to do at the end of the year. It was just a lot of like dumb fun. I feel like at the end of the year, and it made a school like a lot more bearable and pretty enjoyable to come to every day. So Austin brought in the water jug and make people chug down water for money, and multiple <laughs> people tried it, and they all threw up. It was hilarious. I don't know why people are so stupid, but they did it for money, and they didn't get any of the money, but they did throw up. Well, my favorite memory is probably when uh, AP uh, World, yep. I dressed up as the Pope and came to school for an entire day dressed as the Pope. It was yeah. pretty cool. I had an army of people around me protecting me as well. He, he did it on multiple occasions. Multiple occasions. AP Biology, that was my favorite class I've ever been in, and spending that time with all my friends was a really fun experience, and I really love Mrs. Gilbert, so that was a super cool class to take. I think it was my very first marching band performance when we came back from band camp because I realized, oh my god, everything's different here. And it's like, wow. It was, it was, that was kind of when I realized everything was changing, but I, I wasn't upset about it. Actually, I would say it's the very first football game that we actually did underneath the lights. It really changed the perspective of, hey, you're growing up.
I I always thought the first day that I actually like walked through the halls with like the bells and like actual first day of school was a really good memory. Probably the sports I played. Participating in the Big Reds Believe dodgeball game. Probably making new friends when I came here. My freshman year joining marching band. So, because it's always, it was an experience that, you know, not a lot of people get to have. So, I was very happy that I was able to get into marching band. Just my freshman year walking in here and starting over and having a fresh start to a new school and meeting new people, making a lot of new friends. Like helping around with my teachers and stuff. Oh, algebra. It was pretty simple and easy to do. Being in Mr. Horn's class and doing stuff in there, actually. And I would say helping out with the school store, like helping sitting up and taking down, and being in Mr. Rainey's class for fourth hour choir. When me and Jane and Austin, we all made lemonade and we just went out to like every classroom and we like <laughs> was just pouring out lemonade and we thought like the salt that Mr. Moore gave us was like deadly. Like it was, it was crazy, but it, it wasn't, it wasn't. The matching costumes. But yeah, we had matching costumes, it was great. Isn't chemistry, and we're supposed to add like three milligrams of something, and uh, we didn't read the directions, and we add 30 milligrams, and the whole thing exploded everywhere, and we failed the lab, <laughs> and I thought it was funny, but my teacher didn't. <laughs> Winning a league championship in basketball with these guys right here and the rest of my teammates, or uh, Nate throwing me my second ever touchdown in football. <laughs> me, Austin, and Nate uh, just uh matching each other with the same uh what was it the uh we had the thinking, thinking caps, caps <laughs> and uh mclovin shirts <laughs> well we wore with black the red pants, shoes and red the same shoes. white socks we're doing it again not eliminated the entire day we we were like celebrities that day <laughs> my first choir concert it was like it was so surreal for me because i've never actually been on a stage my first football season from freshman year it was so much fun to just be able to like go to band camp, meet some people from all over, all across the board, then going onto that football field for the very first time in front of a whole stadium full of people, <laughs> and all of the stadium lights just like going down, and then it was just like, whoa! So it's just really cool. <laughs> Going out tonight changes into something red Her mother doesn't like that kind of dress Everything she never had, she's showing off Driving too fast, moon is breaking through her hair She's heading for something that she won't forget Having no regrets is all that she really wants Right. 
into something red Her mother doesn't like that kind of dress Reminds her of the missing piece of innocence she loves We're only getting older, baby Um, I'm going to college um, at the Culinary Institute of Michigan and I'm pursuing uh, baking and pastry arts. So I'm going for my long goal of I want to own my own pastry shop. I am still pretty much undecided. I know I'm going to go to SE4 for the first two years, but I'm either going to go for radiology, a pharmacy technician, or into engineering robotics. I plan on going to Sac. I am going to Saginaw. <laughs> to pursue a mechanical engineering degree to do mechanical engineering. <laughs> I plan on finishing my 13th year at Blue Water Middle College. And after that, I'm still undecided on whether I want to go to a four-year university or just a different path I want to take. Go to SC4 and get my associates in science. And then once my two years are up, I want to go to Saginaw Valley and major in environmental science. Well, I'm a senior. I don't firmly believe that we need to have a definite plan set. I mean, we need to start thinking of it. But definitely, after high school, I just want to be happy no matter what we're doing or what I'm doing. I'm going to um, Concordia for golf. And um, I'm, I'm, my maj- I'm majoring in exercise science and kinesiology. I want to be a chiropractor. And like for chiropractic school, I'm going to have to go somewhere else outside of state. I'm also going to Concordia for golf. And uh, I'll be majoring biology there because I want to be an orthodontist and own like my own orthodontist like practice down in Florida. I'm going to be going to the University of Michigan. I'll be majoring kinesiology for pre-med and hope to be a doctor one day. I also plan to hopefully be a student manager for one of the basketball teams while I'm there. Uh, I'm going to be attending uh, Oakland University. I plan on uh, majoring in biology and kinesiology and then getting my degree in physical therapy so I can be a physical therapist. And then I also plan on getting a minor in theater. Um, I'm going to go to Siena Heights and play football, and I need to find a degree that I'm going to go into. I'm going to go to SC4 and get like a degree in like criminal justice or something. I'm going to SC4, and I'm majoring in psychology. I'm going to SC4 to play volleyball, and I'm majoring in special education. Um, I plan to go to college to become either an elementary school teacher or a special education teacher. I plan to attend MFCU, and I want to either be a criminologist or a psychologist. I'm planning to attend Oakland University. Um, I want to do something in the medical field, I think, with like, um, like an ultrasound technician. I plan on going to college. I plan on either being a vet for large animals or just like a vet tech or anything. Um, in September, I'm going to be doing an EMT program through Tri-County and then get certified, take my state test so I can be an EMT. I'm going to SVSU and then I'm going to major in elementary education and minor in Spanish. I'm going to the University of Michigan for engineering. I haven't quite decided what type of engineering yet, but I'm planning on doing environmental or chemical. I'm going to Delta College and I am playing soccer there. I got a soccer scholarship and then I am going to transfer after my two years and I'm either going to major in criminal justice or psychology. I'm going to Michigan State University. I have no clue what I'm majoring in yet, but I just know I'm going to have a lot of fun and I'm really excited. Um, so. I got accepted into IC4, and I'm going to go there for two years, and I'm going to transfer to be a pediatric nurse. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I am going to go to college for sports management, and I want to go to Wayne State. Uh, To work construction. Uh, I might take the trade route for carpentry or electrical work. Uh, I also would love to just travel the world and see new things and learn new things. I'll probably start out with the trade route as well, and then probably get into real estate later on. So I want to go to a cosmetology school for, I want to become an esthetician. Um, I don't have any college plans after high school, but I do plan on working full time. And my goal is to get enough money to open up my own art studio and set up everything there and maybe sell some of my artwork. I'm not really sure what I want to do for a lifetime career yet, so I'm just going to go to school. 
um, community college. And then once I figure out, um, I'll probably transfer to a university. I thought about working uh, at Mueller Brass with my brother. I'm going to look for an apprenticeship in tattooing. I plan to go to CMU. I, I don't really know what for yet, but I did get accepted there. I want to go into physical therapy, but I don't know what school I want to go to yet. My plans after school is to go to Oakland University and study nursing and get my BS in. My plans after high school is to attend Oakland University to major in radiology. And I will also be attending Oakland University and studying radiology. And I'm aiming to get my bachelor's and I might aim for even higher. My plans are to go to college, seven-year program, and become a CRNA. I was going to go to college. I already got accepted and everything, so... Well, I'm not entirely certain what I want to do yet, so I am going to take a gap year to figure out what that is. I am going to SC4 for two years, and my uncle just started his business with carpentry. So me and XV Mason are going to be working with him for the summertime. Probably go to SC4 for two years and then get transferred out and then try to get a medical degree to be a physical therapist. <clears throat> I'm still undecided, but uh, probably go to SC4 and bowl and play baseball. I want to go into trades really bad. I've been looking at a few of them, and the trade schools in Detroit might just be the best move. I actually have a gig with my friend Antonio. Uh, we're going to be working a concrete job over the summer, just me and him, and then after that, uh, I'm trying to get in the IBW, the union, hopefully local 58. Uh, I'm currently investing in the stock market, so just trying to make as much money as possible, to be honest. Mm, going to SC4 and then eventually finding a job through there, working that like that. Yeah. I'm also planning on going to SC4 and then also with the Next Step program. Um, I plan on going to SC4 for two years and then transferring to Oakland University, where I'll study business. And from there, probably try and land a job in Florida somewhere and finish off and getting my master's in business administration. I want to be a lawyer when I grow up. I'm going to go four years for um, criminal justice with a specification assets, protection, and information security. And then I'm going to go to law school after that. And I also hope to kind of on the side do like community theater and stuff because I enjoy theater. But overall, I want to be a lawyer and I also have time for some like uh, hobbies and such of my own. I'm going to be a millionaire billionaire, Twitch streamer, computer scientist. <laughs> I'm going to spend my college years doing Twitch streaming. I'm going to get all my tier 3 subs. I'm going to be a very famous person, even more influential than Andrew Tate himself. Oh my God. Yeah, that's about it. That's it. All right. <laughs> I'm going to go to Saginaw Valley. I'm going to get my major, my bachelor's in computer science, probably get a job there. Then become a probably a billionaire playboy philanthropist. Uh, dress up as an evil spirit and take down evil doers in the nighttime. After high school, I'm planning to attend Saginaw Valley State University and major in pre-pharmacy. And then after that, I'll probably transfer to either Michigan or Wayne State to finish out pharmacy and then hopefully be a pharmacist. Go into the workforce, be a car salesman. Finish up at SC4, and then uh, after that, go to MSU. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out, but I might go to college. My plan, I want to go either um, to a college out of state or try to get into Macomb Community College because uh, I want to be a decent mechanic. I've always been interested in trucks and stuff. So I think I want to do cosmetology, a lot to do with hair. Um, I like cutting hair, dyeing my hair, and I just... I think all that would be really fun, and I like doing hands-on things, so like interacting with people, and I feel like that would be a really good field for me to go into. Um, probably like you know, a job. I will go to college. I either will take a gap year, or I'll just do whatever I can. I planned on going to college, but I don't truly know yet. Well, I plan to go to college to become a rad tech. Going to SC4 and study computer science. I'm going to Oakland University with Grace, and I'm not sure what I'm going to major in yet. Something in the healthcare field. I'm going to be going to Oakland University, and I wanted to major in either radiology or respiratory therapy. I'm going to try to travel the world.
after high school, I'll have a year left at SC4. And then after that, I'll get my associates, but I'm not sure what I'm doing next. I'm also in middle college, but I'm back and forth between like going to a university next year or staying with middle college. Next year, I'm going to Saginaw Valley State. And right now, I'm really kind of undecided, but more leaning towards like doing something in like in business and economics. I think I'm going to be going more towards uh, computer science or cybersecurity type stuff. Um, I'm hoping possibly to get my associates at SE4 and possibly transfer out to somewhere else. So. Hope when you take that jump, you don't feel the fall. When the water rises, you build a wall. Open the crowd screams out, you're screaming your name. Hope if everybody runs, you choose to stay. Hope that you fall in love and it hurts so bad. Um, I would just tell myself to be calm like there's a lot of people around me that is going through the, literally the same thing so I'm not alone so I would just tell myself like don't think about it too much to not be scared I think I was so scared coming in as a freshman because like I don't know like my siblings always told me like the upperclassmen bullied the freshmen so I was like so scared and I was so quiet I didn't talk to anyone but I would just say, I would just say stay to yourself and like just do good in school. Mine would probably be like step out of your comfort zone more because I used to be like really shy and not want to do anything. And now I couldn't care less. <laughs> um, like <laughs> I'm in performing arts now and I did the musical and I wish I would have done all that sooner and made all the friends that I have now a lot sooner. High school can be cruel, but in the end it really is worth it. And you get to see yourself graduate and I think it's a really big accomplishment. I not care what like other people think, like their opinions of like you will just like bring you down. Be yourself and don't really listen to what other people have to say about, like, like, about you. Definitely to focus more on school. Because if you don't actually finish those ninth and 10th grade classes and you actually flunk them, you have to redo them. Uh, probably start playing sports earlier. I would tell myself that it goes by really fast. I would tell myself to start Blue Water Middle College. Probably not to start skipping because <laughs> it's hard to, like, get out of that. I would probably turn my assignments in better, more on time, stop procrastinating, and definitely... Went to safe school no more. <laughs> <laughs> Not to worry about what other people think and to just keep pushing and keep believing in myself. Get involved in as much stuff as you can. Ditch the boyfriend. Uh, keep to yourself and like 
be friends with as many people as possible. Like who you hang out with is a reflection on who you are. And it's important to find good friends and not worry about how many friends you have. Don't worry about what other people think about you. Just to value the time you spend with your friends a lot more. Something I would tell my younger self is to not regret the decisions you make because you'll learn from them in the long run and to not procrastinate. Stop trying to please everyone. Luckily, I did kind of figure that out as I got older, but not everyone's going to like you no matter how nice, funny, social you are, no matter how much you try to make amends with people. Some people just aren't going to like you and that's totally fine and you're not going to like everyone else either, so. I would tell myself not to stress about like um, my future years and just like go slowly and just enjoy the moment. It's important that you just get freshman year under wraps so that you understand how your sophomore, junior, and senior year are going to go. Try not to do everything all at once. You don't have to get it all done like right away. There's room to breathe. Probably stay doing my work. Like I would always have missing assignments and I had a really bad GPA. And I'd also tell them to start working out. Not to surround myself with idiots like these two <laughs> and uh, actually try in school. I'd probably tell myself to get work done on time instead of procrastinating so much. I feel like ever since freshman year, I waited to like the last week of the marking period to bang out all my assignments at once. Didn't end up very well. Focusing more on like the academic part and um, also like being myself, not trying to fit in with other people. I should have stayed with like the right group of people. So I would tell her probably to figure out who's real and who's fake. <laughs> Focus more the first two years. Um, Cause you know, I would have had more fun my senior year, just less work. I really would have told my younger self to join drama. Uh, just from this one production, it has been the best thing of my whole four years. Not everybody is your friend all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's one. Mm -hmm. Enjoy the time you have, because it goes by really fast. Some real stuff, start saving money really early, because it's really steep right now. It does go really fast. It's really fast. Get your plan ready when you're a freshman. That's when you're coming in. Your uh, life is really about to start. Take school serious. Don't miss school. <laughs> Don't miss the days. Just go to school. It's not even worth it at the end. Do more extracurriculars. Just have fun. Time flies. Can't believe I'm already at my senior year, but, and stay on top of your work. Definitely wish I would have uh, calmed down a little more and definitely not been so uh, outgoing. Because <laughs> when I was, I used to yell a lot. I used to be very energetic. I still kind of am, but definitely just take a slower roll. Stay on top of my work better and um, be more outgoing, a little more outgoing. Just try to live it up. Don't mess up. I messed up big time, and I'm just just gotta power through it. Just humble yourself. I was very like cocky as a freshman. Just like thought I was top dog or something like that. And then, uh, you know, count your blessings for sure. There's so many that you just don't recognize until later on in life. I'd say definitely push yourself harder. Um, I wish I would have taken more AP classes because it really wasn't that bad and I feel like I'm missing out on a lot. I think if I just told myself to get out of the house more in ninth grade instead of just sitting in and doing nothing, then I would have been able to have more experiences outside of school with friends like I did like junior year. Yeah, because we had to, we had to come to your house and take you out of the house. I would stay focused. I would not mess around. I would say join um, theater and drama earlier. I would, I would not change a thing. I want to keep it exactly the same. I want to stay the same person. Uh, I'd probably go back and, you know, I love you, Miss Mitchell, but I'd probably tell myself do not take AP research. It's freshman year. It, yeah, I know. Freshman year. I was, he's yeah. warning himself. Yeah, he's warning himself. Stanford, okay. Not to take Come AP on. research. I'm way too lazy for that class. Stay away from boys because you just don't need to date in high school. It's not necessary. And it causes a lot of unnecessary drama and stress that you need to keep out of your high school experience. Stop hanging around the people who don't actually care about you because, honestly, they didn't impact anything that had to do with you. Suck it up. You're going to have to read in every grade, so you might as well start now. Do your homework. Uh, your grade point average really does matter. Don't let anxiety not let you do stuff. It's hard, but... You got to still do new stuff, even if it's uncomfortable. Keep going and keep on trying to do your best. 
I tell myself not to slack off. Do your work on time and don't wait until the last day to do work. To keep going. There's you're gonna have a lot of struggles later on, but like you can't you just gotta kinda go with it. Don't let it really affect you. Just don't let myself fall behind because I always used to do my assignments last minute and it just never really like got anywhere. Be the best student I can in school. I would say also get good grades. Don't focus on what others are saying about you. That just that's a whole road you don't wanna go down. I would say do your best to not procrastinate on things. You can do anything you can imagine. Probably start golf earlier. I'd say when you're on a football field, keep your head on a swivel. <laughs> 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 and, and make sure like you know where everyone's at at all times. That way uh, your head doesn't get knocked off one game. Uh, I would say just enjoy the time when you have it. The older you get, the busier you're going to get. So especially when you're you know, freshman, sophomore year, enjoy as much time as you can with your friends. Join the drama club way earlier. Uh, that's one thing I wish I would have done earlier. In that 12 passenger van in a small club in Minnesota and the snow outside of first half. I just wanted my name in the star. Now look at where we at, still growing up. Still growing up. I would lay in my bed and dream about what I've become. Couldn't wait to get older. Couldn't wait to be some. Now that I'm here, wishing I was still young. Those good old days. I wish somebody would have told me, babe. Wish I didn't drink all of that glass first Wish I made it to homecoming Got up the courage to ask her Wish I would've gotten out of my show Wish I put the bottle back on that show Wish I wouldn't have worried about what other people thought I felt comfortable with myself Rooftop open And the stars above the Moment frozen sneaking out and falling in love Me, you and that futon We just begun On the grass dreaming Figuring out who I was Those good old told me, babe, that someday these will be the good old days, all the love you won't forget, and all these reckless nights you won't regret, cause someday soon your whole life's gonna change, you'll miss the magic of the good old days. Never thought we'd get old, maybe we're still young, maybe you always look back and think it was better than it was. Maybe these are the moments Maybe I've been missing what it's about Been scared of the future Thinking about the past While missing out on now We've come so far I guess I'm proud At night worry about the wrinkles around my smile I got some scars I've been around I felt some pain I've seen some things But I'm here now Those good old things You don't My favorite teacher is Mr. Rainey. He's just super funny and sometimes he'll mess up words and it just becomes a whole joke in the class and there's a tangent for about 20 minutes, which is hilarious. <laughs> Gotta be Mr. Jones. He always like makes sure that we're okay. Like sometimes if he notices something might be going on, he'll be like, at the beginning of class, he's like, what's up? Is everything okay? And I think he's one of the few teachers who will get to watch his students 
grow like as people and not just as musicians. Definitely Mr. Moore. He was just, I don't know. It was, it was kind of the way he taught. It was like different, but it was like a really good different. I wasn't that good at science until like him and he, he helped me a lot and he was super cool. And apparently he can bench 405. But I don't really believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say my favorite teacher has been Miss Friend because I've had her for three years now. And I just feel like I can connect to her like more as a person than like an actual teacher. Uh, I would definitely say Mr. Moore too. I mean, he can make anything boring, exciting. Uh, he can make any hard topics really easy to understand. Uh, without a doubt, Mr. Rainey, uh, he's definitely helped me in so many different ways of like confidence and just being outgoing. He's just a heartwarming kind of guy, and he can relate to anybody if you open up to him. M- Mr. Tinsley, he's one of my favorites because we get to, um, you know, the school store like she was talking about, we get to help set up. I would say Mr. Rainey. My favorite teacher has to be Mr. Jones just because he's really honest. Like, you know, if you really need something, he like, you know, he'll talk to you and he'll be there for you. He's not going to just, you know, sugarcoat things for you. He's, you know, going to tell you, tell it to you straight and stuff. And it's just, it's really, it's nice to have like an adult or like a teacher like that. It's definitely got to be Miss Copey because my freshman year, I've had a lot of things going on at home. So she was, a, she was there for me to talk to her a lot. Uh, Mr. Arena, his class was very simple to pass and pretty fun, and he's a good person, really cool teacher. My favorite teacher would probably have to be Mr. Brown. He is always there for any students, and he'll listen to you. Uh, my favorite teacher would have to be uh, Mr. Schneeberger because he pretty much made science much more fun for people that didn't really think it was fun. Uh, Mr. Wilson, he, I knew him from middle school and he's a really nice guy. Mm, Mr. Tinsley, because he helped me a lot and let me help in the school store. I think it's Mr. Jones. Um, I know it's like a given because marching band and all that stuff, but like, uh, he's always been like very inspiring and very open to listen. And he actually like, you can tell he genuinely cares about us. And I like that. So I don't think I can choose, but if I had to, it would be Miss Ayo. But one that sticks out is Mr. Moore. The way that he teaches makes the subject very fun. Uh, chemistry, very confusing. He made it less confusing <laughs> and a little bit more understandable. Um, Mrs. Mitchell, probably. She's just very helpful with like the one-on-one connection. And she's also our class advisor. Mm-hmm. Also our class advisor, so it's very helpful when it comes to that, too. Uh, Mr. Clarkson has single-handedly made what I thought was going to be the most boring class in high school physics. Um, pretty fun, actually. He makes everything really practical, and I really enjoy that. And also, he really is able to, like, relate his subject to, like, the real world. My favorite teacher is definitely Mr. Moore. I love all the times he almost burned the school down. I love... He gave us, like, a lot of free time. He's really lenient with work. Um, he makes classes really funny and fun. I also like all the s'mores I ate. And um, all the snacks he provides for us. And I, my favorite, probably Miss Mitchell and Mr. Gilbert, just because they make teaching fun. You know, I like learning in a class. The only two classes I've ever passed an AP test on, which means something probably because I'm not the smartest dude ever. So, my favorite teacher is Mrs. Gilbert. She's just really kind and helpful. Probably Miss Jones because I've had her for three years, and she, I, she's just, I just love being in her class in general. Miss A L. When, when, we, when I had her 10th grade for research, she, like, engaged it well that she actually, like, had us doing the assignments, even though it could have been boring. Mm, Miss Mitchell. I had her for three years. I absolutely adore her. She's just a great overall, really amazing teacher. It was, was Miss Taddy. She was just so chill. She knew how to work with the students very well. She was good at com- communicating, putting missing work in. And she was just a cool all-around person. I would probably say either Mr. Wendor or Ms. Johnson. They would just always be there uh, to help, and it was always a one-on-one if you really were struggling. I'm going to have to go with Ms. Gilbert just because, like, I've had her for only two years, but I stopped in there and just good conversations with her. Uh, I'd probably have to go with Ms. Mitchell. Ms. Mitchell, she's been my favorite since I started in ninth grade. She's just always been cool with me. Mr. Mateo Savidra. And Mr. Raymond Brown, those guys both impacted my life so much inside and outside of school. 
And it's just like, those are the guys I can go to for like grown up problems. And they always have like the perfect answer. It's like very wise. My favorite teacher is Miss Mitchell. We have this relationship where she's, I talk to her more like a person than like a teacher. So we disconnect and we always laugh and, and we just talk about real life stuff. My favorite teacher is Mr. Craner. He's just understanding and you can relate to him a lot. My favorite teacher is Mrs. Ajayobe. She's the best teacher you could ever have. And she has real conversations and she gives the best advice. That's probably Miss Campbell because she makes everything pretty easy going. Well, it is Mr. Wilson. Don't tell him I said that because then he'll get a big head. But he's just really nice. He's always there for the students. Uh, he's fun to mess with. My favorite teacher is Mr. Jones because band is my favorite subject and he teaches me more than just music. He teaches me life lessons. It would have to be Mr. Rainey. Uh, I don't think I've ever met such like a happy guy in my life. I've never seen him like mad or upset over anything. Um, Mr. Jones is my favorite because he's just always been a nice guy and he's always goofy with everybody. And he will tell you the truth and, like, teach you lessons about life and prepare you for the real world. One is Miss McDonald. She she doesn't go here anymore, but that's my girl. I hold her forever in my heart. She's so sweet. We had such a great bond. My other one is Mr. Rainey. Uh, he's great. He's really funny, comedic guy. He's also the advisor for the drama club. And he's just really sweet. He really cares about his students. Probably Mrs. Taddy. She's, she's good. Yeah. She's the powerlifting coach. I'll go with Mr. Craner, actually, because I think we relate on a lot of topics. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and we have a lot of the same opinions, and we see eye to eye on a lot of things. I'd probably say Miss Johnson. I liked her Spanish class the most. I liked the energy that she gave with everybody. She was always super nice. My favorite teacher is Miss Kendall, and she's very supportive and cares about her students a lot. My favorite teacher is Mr. Craner. He's my ELA teacher. He's very caring. I like that he cracks jokes during the hour and always just talks to his students. I just like that he builds a relationship with his students too. My favorite teacher no longer goes here. It's Mrs. Ajaya Bay. I had her my junior year as an English teacher and her class was so much fun. Definitely Mrs. Mitchell. She genuinely has a very interesting character. She's very funny, can be a little sarcastic at times, but she also teaches very good. My favorite teacher would probably be Miss Weir. I just, I like how open her classroom is. It's very welcoming to everyone. She does a very good job at including people. Either Senora Johnson or Mr. Reno. Um, Senora Johnson, my Spanish teacher. I love Spanish, obviously. And Mr. Reno, um, he's my teacher this year, but I just love him. He's amazing, and he's hilarious. I have loved almost every single teacher I've had throughout my four years here. I would definitely say Mr. Moore is one of my favorites. Um, he's just so funny, and he makes class so fun. And I also have to shout out Miss Mitchell and Miss Johnson, Senora Johnson. They're both just amazing and caring. I would say my all-time favorite teacher is Senora Johnson. She just <laughs> made me excited to be here every day. Her smile and her energy just made me so excited. Well, apparently Senora Johnson is very popular among us <laughs> because that's my favorite teacher. Um, she made class really fun. I love Spanish. My first one is Mr. Copey. He was like a really good teacher. He was really nice to me. Kind of was more of like a best friend than anything. And then my second teacher would be Mrs. Ayo. She is so sweet and I love her so much. One of my favorite teachers was Mr. Moore, my chemistry teacher from last year. Um, his class was super easy and we did a lot of fun experiments. <laughs> experiments? <laughs> it's gotta be Mr. Mullins. My favorite teacher is Mr. Horn. He's fair to everybody. Miss Ayo and Miss Hol Holman, because they're nice, I guess. Oh, my favorite teacher is Mr. Greener. My favorite teacher is Mr. Wendorf, because he's a good teacher. My favorite teacher is Miss Mitchell, because she was nice and funny. My favorite teacher is probably Mr. Rowe. He was cool. I think we could talk about a lot of things with him. I would have to say Mr. Rowe, too, because he really does listen to the students and he cares about all of our feelings and our well-being. Mine's Mr. Craner. He was pretty chill. My favorite teacher is probably Mr. Rainey. I mean, <laughs> this is my first year in one of his classes, but 
it's been so much fun being in performing arts and like stepping out of my comfort zone and then I did the musical you convinced me to do it um my favorite teacher would probably also have to be Mr. Rainey um like Abby said it really helped me jump out of my comfort zone and this was also my first year taking his performing arts class but I've had a lot of fun and I really enjoyed his class Mrs. Moran she's like always like such like so happy and like brings up my mood when I'm having a bad day. Miss Campbell, she's like kind of helped me like through math and like how, like with financial math we're doing right now, she's kind of helped like it make it more easier with to understand like how financial stuff works. It was Mr. Romzak. He helped me through a lot. He was someone that I always could go to no matter what. He knew my family. I would say Mr. Eastman because like that's my dog. Like Mr. Eastman, we're like this now. So like he's like he's always like been there for me and like he always tells me like these story times and stuff. He's just like so fun to be around. Of course, Mr. Eastman. <laughs> like he really is like he's like such like I don't know how to explain it. Like he's just like just like wow. Like vibes. He, yeah, yeah, like good vibes. I don't know. He's just a really good like person to talk to around the building like I know if I need like help with an issue I already know to go to him your little hands wrapped around my finger and it's so quiet in the world tonight Little eyelids flutter cause you're dreaming So I tuck you in, turn on your favorite nightlight To you, everything's funny You got nothing to regret I'd give all I have, honey If you could stay like that Oh, darling, don't you ever grow up Don't you ever grow up just stay this little Oh darling, don't you ever grow up Don't you ever grow up It could stay this simple I won't let nobody hurt you Won't let no one break your heart No, no one will desert you Just try to never grow up Never grow up You're in the car on the way to the movies And you're mortified your mom's dropping you off At 14 there's just so much you can't do And you can't wait to move out someday and call your own shots But don't make her drop you off around the block Remember that she's getting older too And don't lose the way that you dance Around in your PJs getting ready for school Oh, darling, don't you ever grow up Don't you ever grow up Just stay this little Oh, darling, don't you ever grow up Don't you ever grow up It could stay this simple ever burned you nothing's ever left you scarred and even though you want to just try to never grow take pictures in your mind of your childhood Songs. I just realized everything I have is someday gonna be gone.
But these are the moments that I'm gonna remember most, yeah Just gotta keep going and 